Next is a lecture on the ten offenses given by His Divine Grace A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded in February of 1970 in Los Angeles. The first offense is blaspheming the Lord's devotee. Uh, anyone, anyone, it does not matter, it does not matter that your spiritual your master spiritual is devotee, is devotee and nobody is devotee. No. no. The devotee, the, devotee, uh, the life uh, of devotee, life is, already devotee is already explained that he is fixed up in God. He has no other business than to then think of God, think of God, talk of God, talk of God, preaching of God. Preaching of God. He's a devotee. He's a devotee. It does not matter whether he is born this country or that country or that province or this province or this planet or that planet. Anyone whose life is simply absorbed in Krishna consciousness and thoughts of God, he is a devotee. So we should not we should not blaspheme that our process is better, your process is better. That is due to ignorance. Uh, so this is offense. This is offense. Blessing the devotee. Blessing the devotee. And then considering and the lords and, and the demigods on the same level. On the same level. Uh, or assuming that or there, assuming are many that gods. there are many gods. God is one. God is one. It is nonsense to it think nonsense that, there to think that there are many gods. If there are many gods, there are then many there is no meaning of God. There is no meaning of God. Ekamiva Dvitya. The Veda says God is one without, without any second. Without any second. Without any competitor. Without any competitor. If God has competitors, then, then he is not God. Then he is not God. The definition of God is a supreme. Supreme. So if there are many, then how God can be supreme? God can be supreme. God is great. God is great. God is great means God nobody is greater, greater than Him, greater than nobody, is equal, nobody is equal to Him. Everybody is under Him. Uh, you may have, you may have uh, very uh, high, high qualifications, high qualification, but you cannot be equal, cannot to God. Be equal to God. God is one. God is therefore, therefore, the Mahavadi philosophy, philosophy that uh, you can accept, uh, you can accept by, imagination, by imagination any form of, any form of God, God, and that is all. No. No. You should have the actually the form of God. Just like Krishna says, Mam Ekam. Ekam means only one unto me. Of course, there are many other forms of God. But in order to concentrate your mind perfectly, you should always think of Krishna. Māmi ekam saranam vajra. Saranam vajra. So, so we, we, we do not we do not accept this nonsense philosophy that any name any we can if we can't God. No. God. No. A God's name. A God's name. Of course, the God's course name may be uh, sounding just uh, like, sounding just uh, like uh, you say uh, water. water. Uh, I say jaw. Uh, I say jaw. But mean, but mean the, uh, object is the same. Object is the same. Similarly, Similarly, if you have gone actually, actually any name for any God, name that's all right. That's all right. Otherwise, take, Otherwise to Krishna. take to Krishna. Krishna means Krishna all attract. Means all attract. And God's and name God's cannot be otherwise. If other God is not if all attractive, then He is not God. Then He is not God. If God is attractive for a certain type of man or certain class of man, and is not attractive for others, then He is not God. Then He is not God. So, so you see, you see Krishna's activities, Krishna's, activities, uh, Krishna's uh, Krishna, bodily feature, bodily feature with Krishna's in a section, it is one, sublime, 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 that way is God. That way is God. And, and it is not our sentiment, not our sentiment but it is confirmed by the Vedic literature. Bhagavad says, Krishna's to Bhagavan, Sam. Krishna is a supreme person. Brahma Sanghita says, Ishara Parama Krishna. There are many gods, demigods, but God is one. Arjuna says, Parabrahma. Every living entity is Brahma. 
But he is para Brahma, the supreme Brahma, the supreme Brahma. Uh, and Krishna uh, says Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita, Gita Matta Paratara Nasti, Kinchi Dasti Dhananja. That is, there is uh, nothing, more nothing more superior than me. Superior than me. So these are, so we have to take uh, evidences, uh, evidences from this heart, from heart, heart Krishna to Bhagavan. So nobody, so nobody uh, should think uh, that if I chant the name of uh, this demigod or that demigod is high equal to chant the name of Hari or Krishna. No, that, that is an offense. That is an offense. It's third offense. Third offense. Then, then uh, uh, neglecting, neglecting in the order of the spiritual mind. The beginning the of initiation is, is to voluntarily accept the spiritual the master spiritual to abide by his order. So if you disobey his order, uh, uh, then uh, uh, it is offense. It is offense. Uh, uh, it is fourth offense. Fourth offense. Fifth offense. Interpreting the holy name of God. Interpreting, interpreting because, because we have a very fertile brain. brain. We, we can interpret in so many ways. So many Maya gives us such knowledge. Such knowledge. Uh, this way and, and that, way, and that, way. And that way. No. No. Don't try to, Don't interpret. Try to interpret. Therefore we are Therefore presenting, presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is. As it is. No interpretation. No interpretation. Krishna says that that Mami Kam Saranam Braja. Krishna says, just surrender unto me. And we are teaching, just surrender to Krishna. Is there any difference? No difference. No difference. No difference. No difference. They are speaking. speaking. We are speaking. actually the representative of Krishna. Krishna. Ah. Ah. Krishna says, surrender unto me. me. And we, we the disciples, are saying, harm. This Krishna consciousness moment. We are also speaking just surrender to Krishna. We do not imitate, do not interpret that this me means me. The Mahamadi Mulayapar, they say, the me, everyone can say me means I. Unto me. Unto me. But is that grammatically correct? correct? If I say that, please give me a glass of water. Now, if now every one of you say, say, this me means me, means me. Means so it, you take so every, you every every one of us, you want glass of water. Glass of water. This is nonsense interpreting. Interpret. But the, the Mahavadi Kula of Earth, because they are atheists, because they do not accept the existence of God, they interpret this half class in different way, so that, but that cannot stand. Uh, that may be, that may be a very, uh, very uh, nice to some, nice foolish, some man. foolish man, but actually, but actually it's some, it's they some, meet some intelligent, then, then they are different. So this sort, this of sort of interpretation is useless. Committing sin on the strength of chant. Of chant. Now, this now, is your this beginning, your beginning of, life. of life. This chanting, this chanting means whatever, means whatever you have whatever done you have in your past life, sinful, that is now, Squared up. Squared up. But, but you should not you should anymore, not anymore commit, sin. commit sin. The four the pillars of pillars sinful, of life, sinful life, life is this. Is this. Ah, ah, are this. Are what, this. Is that? what is that? That illicit that sex. Is sex. That or or intoxication. Meat eating. And, 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 and uh, 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 what is that? Uh, gambling. gambling. These are the four are the pillars, four just pillars. like your table, table stands table and the four and legs, four legs. Or, or this, this uh, house stands uh, and four and legs, four, legs. Uh, four, uh, four wheel, it's wheel, car stands. Car stands. Simply the, the this uh, sinful, sinful life, life personified stands on these four, four pillars. If you break these four, four pillars, then he, he does not stand. So be, so be, now, now, whatever has whatever been done, is done. That is not your disqualification. This Krishna consciousness moment does not say that first of all you get take other chapters, atonement, or you pay some fine for your sinful life. No, no. Every conditioned soul is apt to commit some so many sins, knowingly or So whatever is done is done. Now from this day, no more sinful life. 
Don't think. Don't think. Oh, I am chanting Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So this so, is a counteracting method. So let me let commit me this come sinful, sinful act, act and it will be counteracted because I am chanting. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't, I don't believe in that way. That way. Not that Not is, that is uh, uh, well, just like just somebody says say that you that come in sin, but you confess, you confess and you are, and you are that's, all right. that's all right. By confessing, By confessing your sinful reaction is eradicated. But if you come it again, that is foolishness. Uh, uh, so this example I have given you several times. Just like if you have committed something wrong, Ah, you go to the court, you mean that? If you say, my Lord, I did not know this, I mean, this unlawful. So next time I shall be careful, I shall not do it. Then there is an excuse. But if next time you go to the court and you say, please excuse, that is, there is no excuse. So, so, this confession, confession once, once is right, is right twice, twice is right, is right thrice is right, both right, times are right, right, similarly right. And come on, come on, So, you do not commit sin, sin, because, because you, by you, mistake, by you might, might uh, commit uh, some, some uh, sin. Uh, sin. That, that may be that excuse. May be excuse. But, but if you take it in business, that because, because I am uh, uh, chanting Hare Krishna mantra, therefore I can commit this sin. There, no there is no reaction. No, no. There is a there is a offense. offense. It is a great offense. Great offense. Mm. Mm. Then, then uh, seventh offense in instructing, instructing the glories, glories of the Lord's Lord name, name to the unfaithful. Uh, this chanting of Hare Krishna mantra we offer when one has become faithful. Uh, so many uh, students come to us, but we see, first of all, that he is now faithful, he is faithful in this chanting. So we generally we allow six months time to see how he is faithfully executing. Then we offer this uh, be Otherwise, if he is faithless, then, then after, after some time, time till, till, uh, he, uh, he, he give it up. Give it up. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, for, uh, for the, the spiritual, spiritual master, it is also offense. If one is faithless, this chanting of beads should be, not be given, given to him. Uh, uh, this is offense. Off and then, and then comparing, comparing the holy the name, name with, with material, material pies. Just like Just this function we are holding today, it is, it is not to be not considered, to be considered as, some as some fire activity. activity. It, is it is transcendent. transcendent. Fire activity, activity can give you some reward in this material world, world. But, but this activity, activity is beyond this material world. It will give you play back, back to home, home back, back to God. God. So, don't so don't compare with ordinary fire activity. activity. Just like somebody gives in charity, somebody makes something, religious activity. Yes, it yes, is beyond religion. Beyond, beyond religion. religion. Beyond beyond religion. religion. This Krishna consciousness movement is beyond all religion. religion. It is it the postgraduate post study of all religion. religion. So, so don't, don't compare, compare with, with any path. Then, then, <laughs> then uh, 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 in attention, why chanting the holy holy? Now, you should chant this Hare Krishna and you should hear all those. Uh, if, uh, your if your mind, mind is acting, your mind is somewhere else, else. Uh, and you are chanting, chanting. Uh, that, uh, that is an offense. Uh, uh, you should hear, yeah, this is this called is samadhi. samadhi. If you, you chant, chant and hear, hear then your then mind, mind is interlocked, interlocked by hearing, hearing and, and chanting. chanting. This is samadhi. Samadhi, samadhi means trance. Trance means completely absorbed. So, by, By hearing, hearing and chanting, chanting acting act both ways, way, you will be in trance. trance. And that, that trance will keep you in the transcendental trans state. state. That is called Sama. Mm -hmm. So, so if we uh, uh, become, become inattentive, inattentive that is not that. And attachment to material things while engaged in the uh, practice of chant. We should always, always remember, remember that, that we are trying, trying to be elevated to the spiritual, spiritual platform. platform. 
So, spiritual platform means no more anxiety for sense gratification. That is spiritual platform. Material platform means everyone is hankering after sense gratification. All the people that are working very hard, they are dying very hard. The aim is sex at night. That's all. Sense for me, they cannot work if they have no facility for sex. So, but the devotees of Krishna, their aim is how to satisfy Krishna. That is the difference. This is the difference between uh, spiritual life and material life. Material life means everyone is trying to how to satisfy his sex. And spiritual life means he is also trying the same way, but his aim is how to satisfy Krishna. So my occupation to satisfy something that will continue. You cannot stop it. But spiritual life means to satisfy Krishna. And material life means satisfy my sense. So in every action, if you put this test, whether you are satisfying your senses or you are satisfying your Krishna, you can test it. And as soon as you see that you are satisfying my things and senses, then it is not Krishna. In this way, uh, make progress, and if you fail uh, sometimes, Krishna will excuse you, but you must be very much uh, strict, guarding against this fall down, then your uh, elevation will be very quick and uh, it will be very sound. So uh, follow these uh, principles of uh, offenses.